Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will be looking at the CB&Q pulpwood car. Open it up and take a look at the parts. So here we have the body. Now you're going to want to check the body in these places here and here where the coupler goes and anywhere along the bottom for flashing. Next we have the underframe and you're going to want to check the underframe for flashing in this area and this area here and also on the back side in these areas as well. Next is the underframe detail part. Now one side of this is flat and the other side does have parts protruding. Next we have a steel weight. Now this steel weight you are going to want to look directly down the edge of the weight and make sure that it is straight. And if it's not, you can just give it a little bend with your fingers until it is straight. The instructions. In the bag of parts we have two wheel sets and two screws. Two horn and hook couplers, which we won't be using. And one brake wheel. Now after you have checked all the parts and gone over everything and checked for flashing and removed it, then we can start assembly. And we can start with the body here. We can put the brake wheel into the body, making sure it is nice and snug. We don't need any glue for that. It'll sit in there very nicely. And that is all for the body. Next is the underframe. So we can go ahead and stick the detail part and the underframe together. They just push together, making sure that the detail part for the underframe has the flat side against the top of the underframe. Next, we will install our number five KD couplers. So first we start with putting the spring in there and then we are going to put some KD greasem in there, some dry graphite. Next is our hook, then the coupler cover. Coupler cover should just push down, snap into place, and you want to make sure that it is actually fully snapped. Twist right there, making sure the coupler moves freely. And then we can go ahead and do the other side. Once we have our underframe together, we can go ahead and stick the rest of it together. Start with our body, we'll drop our weight in, then we will put our underframe assembly in, making sure that the hooks and everything line up like that. And then next is our wheels. Starting a screw in a wheel, placing it over top, making sure the screw goes in the hole and then screw down. Okay, you wanna make sure that side is tightened down and still has a little bit of play and movement. And then we can take our second wheel and do the same thing. That one down, make sure it is free. There we have our Burlington pulpwood car ready for the track to check the height on the hooks. So we have our Burlington pulpwood car here on the track ready for coupler height check. Now, as you can see, it is a bit low. You probably could put a washer under the wheel to bring it up a little bit. Probably a gray washer would be good. It's not too bad. The, the hook is touching the bottom a little bit. Probably needs to be bent up just a tad, but it's not bad. So there we have our Burlington CB&Q pulpwood car all ready to go from the layout. Thank you. 